Hello guys, do you like my Yuri content? Consider following me on Twitter and joining my Discord where you'll get notifications of when a new video is out. And if you have suggestions, let me know. Now, back to our Yuri video. The other day, I started reading A Monster Wants to Eat Me and I could not stop. The synopsis goes as such. High school girl Hinako is living a quiet life in a seaside town, but she feels somewhat detached from her friends during the summer months when she's reminded of when her family died years ago. One day, she meets Shiori, a mysterious girl who reminds her of the ocean, especially when it comes to her translucent blue eyes. But Shiori soon reveals that she is actually a mermaid who has been looking for Hinako for a long time. Wow, childhood friends, supernatural, monster girl, mermaid, Yuri, what other tags do you need? N none. The answer is, uh, none. So I'm gonna go right into talking about the story, and I won't give away a lot, but I'll give away enough so you can kinda understand what's going on, I guess. So Hinako wants to die, and Shiori wants to eat her because she's the monster. Hinako already feels dead and is like, okay, cool, you can eat me. And then we have Hinako's friend Miko. Miko is upbeat and loud and clingy. Like she appears to be super clingy to Hinako. And at the beginning I was like, meh. But after reading the updates, I'm, I like her a lot now. So Hinako and Shiori have this partnership going on where Shiori will eat her when the time is right. I suspect some sort of Yuri thing will happen between them later on, I guess. I mean, it's a tag. But, uh, oh, I'm not giving away anything, by the way. Nothing in that sort has happened between them. Yet. Yeah, sure, they'll drop a few things here and there that could be interpreted as Yuri as subtext, maybe. But on the other hand, it's just for drama. And it doesn't matter to me if it's Yuri or not, because it's just entertaining. The relationship between all three of our girls is odd, but it's one that the reader can understand. The volumes are broken up between four to five chapters, and I'd say that the pacing is pretty good. But sometimes it does leave off awkwardly and I'm like, wait, that's how they ended the volume? But when moving on to the next volume, it's quickly addressed or solved. What attracted me first was the manga's super clean cut art style. The colored pages are so nice to look at and the backgrounds are filled in for the most part. And what amazes me is how the author can switch from terrifying monsters to cutesy stuff like this. God, guys, Miko is so cute. Yeah, I can see people saying that they find Miko annoying, and that's usually the case with a character like her. But her protectiveness and cleanliness come from goodwill. As for the other girls, Hinako's eyes are pretty much always dead, and she never smiles. She's just a depressing character, and usually I'd be like, wow, don't care. But what makes me enjoy this is Shiori and her teasing personality. She'll be joking one moment and then say something scary, all while doing it with a smile. To be honest, I'm kind of rooting for our main character to die. Ah, uh, I don't know how this manga will end. Either Hinako gets eaten, or Shiori can't keep her promise of eating her. All I can hope is that this doesn't get axed. Guys, go read it and see if you like it yourself. It's a fast read, and I was kind of addicted to this story. So, um, yeah, the, the video is ending now. Um, that's all I had to say, so, uh, go read it, read it, read it, read it, read it read it and and keep reading it and um and stay tuned for next week's video and keep reading it and reading it and reading it